So I have a lot of people ask me all the time, should they become part of the trucking industry? Should they go to school to get their license? How much it costs? You know, all of these sort of things. So I'll be discussing this topic in this telecast today. I want them to be able to interact with me, me be able to interact with them. I want this to skyrocket soar. You know, it makes you laugh. Some of them makes you cry. Some of them makes you cringe. It's just different topics about everyday things that, that hard conversations that people really don't want to have. I don't know if people are really going to, you know, like this kind of conversation, but I was like, you know, to hell with it. I'm going to do it anyway. And so here we are. Should you get into trucking? If you are able to get the money, obtain your license, because you will have to go to class, and it's kind of like eight weeks to 10 weeks, it just depends. You really don't want to go through a school where they will have to pay your tuition back. It's kind of expensive. You know, some states, I'll say 4000 to $10,000, just depending on where you're at. Maybe even 12000 You know, you can maybe sign on with one of these companies or something, and they pay your tuition. Guess what? You're stuck trying to pay that tuition back, and they could jack that price up all the way through the roof. To whatever they want to jack it up to because you're going to have to take a knowledge test general knowledge you're going to have to take an air brake test you're going to have to know do all know how to do all your skills and and learn how to bag the truck and just learn how to drive the truck period you know some schools have simulators some schools have real trucks you know just depending on what state you're in but i have people that ask me these questions all the time you know and so i thought that maybe i'll come on here and enlighten you guys a little and give y'all some of the pros and the cons to to what's actually going on out here can you make a lot of money yes you can if you know how to make the money i don't recommend coming to trucking if you can't count if you can't count i don't recommend trucking if you do not know how to read a map i do not recommend trucking for you if you cannot be alone and be in confined spaces i do not recommend trucking for you so the people that I would recommend trucking for are those that can handle the road. They can, you know, remain calm because of that traffic. When I tell you it's hell, you go into some of these cities, that traffic is hell. You will get road rage. You will jump out of your seat. You will do all kind of things. So if you can't keep your cool, I don't recommend trucking for you. So, but if you can, hey, by all means, come on. You know, if you can't save money, I don't recommend trucking for you. Because you're going to go out here and you get paid and you stuck in some of these cities or whatever. You know, you probably blow your whole paycheck before you make it back home. But if you want to see the country, you want to see the countryside, you want to see the United States, you want to go visit some of these spots that you never thought that you would ever be able to ever be able to see. Or, you know, you might have some loved ones that you, you might uh, want to go see and, and you just don't know how to get to them. You know, something like that. You know, it depends on whether you want to be a company driver, whether you want to be an owner-operator. I mean, if you want to be a company driver right now, I would recommend, you know, finding your warehouse job or something because these dispatchers are going to get on your everlasting nerve. They're going to want that truck running for them 70 hours that you got on your clock. They're going to want that truck running for all those 70 hours. I don't care if you're sick. I don't care if your leg broke, your arm broke whatever they want that truck running and if you can't provide valid a valid reason for why that truck is not running they gonna find somebody else to run that truck for you they gonna call you they gonna bug you they gonna do everything under the sun to make sure that that truck is running and that load is on time and delivered to the right spot they gonna do everything under the sun when i tell you they're gonna bug your ass to death they're gonna bug your ass to death so i don't recommend you to become a company driver if you're going to get on one of these companies that going to bug the shit out of you. They're going to tell you, oh, we got a $50,000 sign-on bonus for you, right? And then you're going to think that, oh, you fixing to get $50,000 right up front, a big, huge check for $50,000. And then guess what? You're going to get over there, and they're going to say, well, we'll give you your first thousand on your first check, and then we'll give you another thousand on your second check and then after that we're gonna break you down to five hundred dollars then you get five hundred here five hundred there and then if you stay on with us for a year we'll start giving you the rest of it but you have to stay on with us and if you don't and you go somewhere else guess what you gotta pay that money back so the moment that you're ready to jump ship you gotta pay that money back so you gotta learn some of the rules and the tricks to the trade when you get out here 
You know, some of these companies got it. They say, oh, we're going to get you home every weekend. When really, you're only going home for your 34-hour reset. And that's what I said. That's what I mean when I said if you don't know how to count. If you don't know how to count, you got to run your clock. You got to know how to run your clock and all of that type of stuff because you only got so many hours that you can drive, so many hours that you can sleep, and so many hours that you can do in one week. And you got to meet all those requirements. And those requirements don't come from the company. Those requirements are FMCSA regulated. And if you don't know what FMCSA is, go look it up before you even think about coming to trucking. Because I guarantee you, if you don't know who FMCSA is, you will know your first week when you get get in your truck. I guarantee you, you will know. You will know real fast. But I don't recommend trucking for those who are afraid if you're kind of timid you're gonna go in some of these cities and you're gonna have people looking at you like who in the hell are you you're gonna go you might get lost whatever you might need help i mean you got to learn how to maneuver your way out of these things you know what i'm saying you might not have no cell phone service that means you don't have no gps service so that means you got to pull your map book out and if you don't know how to read a map guess what you stuck you're going to have to ask somebody on a corner store or somebody who worked at one of these. You might be way in in the mountains. and <laughs> You might be in the mountains. Look at my video on the mountains. You might be way in the mountains or something. Stuck. Ask some of these drivers. If you're accustomed to going into a, a, a bathroom and using the bathroom, hey, guess what? It don't work. They don't work like that out here. If you got to use the bathroom and it ain't no bathroom around, guess what? You better pull that bucket from under your bed because you're going to be using that bucket. That's just the way it is. You ain't ready to be a trucker. Don't. I, I suggest. Do not. Go and spend your money. To become a truck driver. Because there's some things out here that. Other people are not going to tell you. But runaway child going to let you know. I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now. Sometimes you might have to piss in a bottle. You know what I'm saying. Hey. Going down the road. Because you don't have time to stop. You know what I'm saying. So. Hey, it's it's a lot of rules and a lot of things that, that, that goes along with it. You go into some of these cities, you got to know where you are, you got to know your surroundings, all of that kind of stuff because you ride with high dollar freight and, and things of that nature. Guess what? You got some of these jack boys out here, they'll try to take it. Or they'll break in your trailer while you sleep. You park your truck in the wrong place, you come back, your truck might not have no wheels on it. You know what I'm saying? So, if this or any of this sounds like it's not you, I don't recommend trucking for you. And you say, hey, I'm going to do this for a certain amount of time, or I'm going to do this with a company until I can get my own truck, or whatever, however, by all means, hey, go for it. It's a great experience. It's a great job. I mean, I love going and seeing people and going in and out of these different cities and, and talking to some of these people. I mean, I got friends that I've made since I've been trucking, that we're still friends to this day. You know, some of us are, are, are closer than some of me and my own family, you know. So, like I said, it's a great experience. If you love to travel, it will be an even much more greater experience. Take a load and go, say, down to Miami. You can go to Miami, spend the whole weekend, whole week, whatever, down in Miami. You take your break, you say, hey, I'm not going home, I'm staying in Miami this week. And you can go down to Miami and you can do whatever you want to do. Have you some fun and then get back on the road. Then you might go to California. Then you're all the way in California. You out in California at the beach in California. You just left the Atlantic. Now you're headed to the Pacific. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, that's amazing out here, man. But it ain't for everybody. Oh, and another thing, food. If you got to have organic foods and, and you trying to be all nutritional and, and those type of things and that, hey, man. You better be a very good packer. You might want to have you a real nice refrigerator and all of that kind of stuff. I mean, there's nothing really healthy to eat out here. I mean, you got some spots and stuff that's healthy, but you're going to have to pack a lot of that stuff and bring it with you while you're out here on the road. And it also helps with saving money. If you don't know about parking and stuff like that, guess what? You got to pay for parking at a lot of these places where you go because there's so many trucks out here. It's nowhere to park. You got to find somewhere to park and if you can't you gotta pay for it it gets very expensive also showers sometimes you may go two three days four days you might not take no shower 
because you gotta go. You wanna go. You might get in a spot where there's not any showers and you gotta park for the night. So you might have to get some baby wipes. Hey, take your whole bath. It gets serious. So if you're not accustomed to, you know, these type of things, or if you're not trying to get adjusted to these type of things, I really don't recommend trucking for you. But if all of those things, you know, you say, hey, I can do that. And, you know, the money is great if you do the right things. Now, if you lazy, you can't get up, you got to have somebody wake you up all the time and all that kind of, guess what? This ain't for you because you're going to miss your appointments. You're going to miss out on money that you could have made. Somebody going to call you up and say, hey, we got a bag over here in Nebraska for you. But guess what? You ain't going to be able to get it because you stuck on this last load because... You know, you couldn't get up to go get it. So, you know, if you have a hard time and you struggle with those type of things, nah, this is not for you. So, those are some of my pros and some of my cons, you know, for the trucking 2021. Hey, I suggest it for some, but I don't recommend it for others. Runaway child. And we are out.